The uncertainty of the last 18 months, I think has had an impact not only on a business or an organisation like Mounties, but on individuals. Whether it's the staff members, whether it's the community members, whether it's, you know, ourselves, the uncertainty has brought this real strain that we've never experienced before. I don't think people realise that with a pandemic or with any hardship comes those self-questioning of could I do more? And I think everybody's been through it. There's been a lot of sleepless nights wondering when we'll open, who's out there that needs help that we can't see. You know, we made thousands of welfare calls, but who did we miss? donated to support life-saving helicopters, life-saving boats, you know, children and babies in need. But who did we miss? We bought and renovated an entire building for youth services. But who slipped through the cracks? And there are always challenges and questions you're going to ask yourself. But at the same time, I look at the thousands of people we helped, and I'm really proud of that. To have somebody phone you from Mounties to say, are you okay? Can we do anything? What can we do to help? Makes a difference. At least you know someone cares. You know, this was a year where people needed Mounties more than they ever needed it before. But at the same time, it was a year where we closed. When your business came to a grinding halt because of a pandemic, people would be saying, slow down, stop the spending. Our directors actually doubled what they were spending into the community, through donations, through community grants, through supporting people in need. Trying to make our commitment with the club closed for over 100 days has not been easy. Yeah. I'm happy to say that um, after all the closures and hard work, um, the club has done very well with a great management team and we were able to meet our commitment for $3.1 million to the local community. While certain things were out of our control and we could help in certain areas, there was other areas that we could make things happen for the future. And that could be the life-saving helicopter that we supported, or updating sporting fields, or finishing the biggest indoor sports complex in any Australian club. So when our doors did open, our members had access to that completely free service to get our community back together, to get people talking again, to get people engaging again, to lift that social inclusion, social you know, engagement. The community is huge here as an intergenerational club, so you've got things for the over 55ers upstairs, the units, then you've got gyms, you've got swim schools, you've got playgroups, you've got childcare, you've got hairdressers, and that's not even the club. When you get into the club, you've got three or four restaurants, you've got bar, and then you've got major fun with kids, so there's absolutely something for everybody. Mounties is growing, and Mounties will continue to grow because people need us. So we went from direct contributions to our community from 4.6 to over 9.9 .9 million dollars because it was a time we were needed more. So this year alone we've added two more clubs to the group with the same ethos. Profit for purpose that those clubs will be financially successful and then give all their profits to the local community. Mounties exists to improve the lives of our members. Mounties serves over 5 million people a year and in a year of a pandemic we actually grew 20,000 members. It's just as we've grown to 160,000 members and nine clubs and so much more, the needs of our members have evolved over 50 years. So the services we offer have changed over 50 years and have just grown to impact so many areas of life. We've also added home care, whether it's nursing, whether it's changing a light bulb, whether it's chemotherapy in your home, we deliver those to our members in their homes now. And it doesn't matter if you're five, 55 or 95, it's about Mounties improving lives. Mounties has had a partnership with CareFlight for more than a decade. CareFlight's there on somebody's possibly the worst day in their life. So when they came to us and said, we need to upgrade, we need to do more, we need to be able to get to people faster with a new helicopter, of course the board was going to say, we're here to help. Another helicopter service takes 40 minutes to get up and into Sydney to help somebody. Where CareFlight is, in the air and at most of Sydney's areas within 15 minutes. Those minutes save lives. The investment is uh, over $10 million. What it's allowed us to do is upgrade uh, our aircraft, so keep us right at the leading edge of world capability. Without Mounties, 
uh, we wouldn't have been able to take this step. I can have this helicopter off the ground in less than two minutes. The big advantage is how powerful it is. I could give you a, a dollar figure of what this helicopter is worth, but if you're laying on the side of a road, this helicopter is priceless. I think the ongoing involvement of, of Mounties has been vital to keep the Mounties Care Care Flight helicopter in the sky. We can continue to um, supply um, high-end medical care to the ill and injured Greater Sydney residents. So Lockie doesn't remember the day. We were getting ready for our Father's Day lunch and everyone was coming over. He had a sudden headache. Within five minutes he was screaming and the care flight helicopter came and the amazing doctors they came in to our lounge room. I think they were at our house within 15 minutes of Lockie becoming unconscious and taking him to the hospital really quickly. How lucky are we? Like so fortunate to have our boy 100% back with us and big thank you to Mounties and to Carefly. The pandemic has impacted people in all ages. And you've got to remember for young children, the formative years of building that social skill, those friendships, that kind of stuff has been taken away from them. We're lucky enough to have major fun that we can build that type of environment. You then get to the teenagers and the young adults and their social experiences have been taken away. Their confidence have been, has been eroded and we're lucky enough that we have backed Ted Knopf's foundation with Street University and created this amazing experience that the Knopf's offer of being able to bring a community of youth together and support each other and build skills that help them become better in the community. Matt wanted to build a street university and Mounties was the first one to ever get behind him, support him and make it happen. We bought the building, we pay for the upkeep, the maintenance, and a lot of the fit out of the building. And we contribute paying wages for the staff delivering a service there. It's changed thousands of lives simply because Matt Knopf's had an idea and the board of directors at Mounties was willing to back his idea. We couldn't have started Street Uni if it wasn't for Mounties. And, you know, and, and there's been ongoing support as well for specific programs and just even, you know, like we're part of the community, Mounties is part of the community and we need those symbiotic relationships, you know, for us all to grow. The purpose is to help young people find their feet, whether it be via an art program, whether it be via counselling, whether it be you know, connecting them to drug and alcohol rehab. We want the young people that we're dealing with that are struggling with stuff to be contributing members of society. So over 50 years ago, a young family groups get together and decide that they need to raise money to help local children play sport or to give a better life to their neighbours or to improve the community in which they live. Today, it's the exact same ethos. Whether it's the local football field, baseball diamond, the biggest indoor sports centre in any club in Australia, they feel it, they know it, they can see the difference we make. Community means that everybody gets an opportunity to, to go as far as they can or do what they can. We're in a good position here that we help a lot of people. You know, we're helping lives, we're changing lives, or at some point um, saving lives. So. Um, you know, that, that's important to us that we get to make a difference within our community and get, a, get to make a difference within people's lives that um, they can fulfil their dreams. For us this year we, we had two players or three players that uh, started the season at Mounties and ended up finding themselves up in Queensland and debuting for, for the Bulldogs. There's been a lot of uh, awards here as far as uh, sporting awards and that go throughout the whole club. There's always been uh, high class players uh, representing New South Wales and Australia. To open on that Monday the 11th was just phenomenal. To see the smiles on people's faces when they came in the door, to know that your staff were back and that they, they were loving being back. It was just the most wonderful experience Mounties, it's not just a, a club, but it's like a, a community. Uh, I feel like I'm part of the family here. It's been quite challenging, um, but you know what? At the end of the day, the regulars are very happy to come in. They're happy because it's their home, they're here every day, and we're, we're happy to see them back as well. I love being back. It's just so amazing seeing all the familiar faces and being back around the team and seeing all our regulars. I guess the biggest question you could ask anyone is, what is a club? And I think in every community, every club, it's probably different. For us, it's pretty simple of why Mounties exists and what is a club. 
Mounties has always simply been about community and it's been about improving the lives of our members. People deserve Mounties because we do it well and because we genuinely care.